First, though, we start with a quickly rising number of COVID-19 infections in Arkansas and across the globe as the Omicron variant continues to spread following Christmas celebrations. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 6. I'm Erica Thomas. The concern of the variant comes amid a major spike today in Arkansas. More than 2,400 new cases were reported. It's almost 1,500 more than yesterday's total and marks the highest number of daily cases in nearly three months. Active cases also spiked today to nearly 12,000, with 51 more people also hospitalized with COVID. 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker joins us live in studio with what local health officials are saying about this increase. Catherine. Here in Arkansas, we saw our largest single day jump in positive COVID-19 cases since September. In Benton and Washington counties, we have some of the most active cases in the state. It was just two weeks ago when the first case of the Omicron variant was discovered in our state. And as of yesterday, there are 63 cases of the variant that have been detected statewide. COVID-19 testing is ramping up with more people gathering over Christmas. While there is no shortage of clinics or drive throughs to get tested, at-home tests are really hard to come by because so many were purchased before Christmas. Fayetteville Health Officer Dr. Marty Sharkey says because so many people have taken at-home tests, our positive cases are likely much higher because those cases aren't being reported to the Arkansas Department of Health. She says there isn't data yet to know exactly what the exposure time is for the Omicron variant. Sharkey's biggest concern with Omicron is our essential workers, more specifically our healthcare workers. This variant um, is, uh, as we are witnessing, um, is extremely contagious and fortunately it is milder, um, but with just the vast numbers that we're going to have our hospitals starting to fill up a little bit more and our healthcare workers out in isolation or quarantine um, because we are seeing the breakthrough cases. Dr. Sharkey encourages anyone who feels sick or thinks they've been exposed to the virus to isolate and get tested. Next week, when kids head back to school, she encouraging masking. She encourages masking since we don't know yet how the variant spreads in the classroom. Live in studio, I'm Katherine Gilker, 5 News.